time we tried mowing and using the forage wagon at the same time and it didn't go very well for us. Uh, we're still so limited on the equipment and this is just that first go round. Well, what I ended up doing at the end of that last episode was we cut down on the equipment, do one thing at a time, and see if ultimately that actually goes faster by more than doubling our pace. And the first piece of that was we mowed the rest of the field here as we try to pick up a few edges. And I'm actually, at the moment anyway, moving around quite well. Uh, though most of this is flat terrain, so we'll see when we have to come uphill. And as the forage wagon gets a bit more full than it is currently, how that works out for us. But so far, so good. Let's go ahead and bring it on down to this frontal view. So downhill, we're getting 11, 12 miles an hour, which is fantastic. But again, it's the uphill and full that concern me. But this is already signif significantly faster. At the moment, anyway, well over double the speed. Meaning it would definitely be worth it here if we continued like this. But here we are now going uphill. Six miles an hour. It's better than it was. It's definitely better than what it had been. In fact, we're already back up to seven. So, yeah, I, I think we've done the right thing by splitting this up as, as hard as it is and less efficient to do the job twice. Ultimately, we save time because here we were getting down to two, three, four miles an hour. We got down to four for a moment, but it's definitely not as bad. But again, we're, we're only 25% full right now, so we'll see if it gets much worse as we uh, get a little more weight inside the wagon. I think I'd like to try to kind of hit up these high points up here thoroughly before I get out of this area. Oh, oh, here we go. The struggle's on. The struggle is real. But we don't always have to go up, round and around and uphill. Uh, we could work in that downhill manner like we had actually taken to. Not that hard to turn around and get going back the other direction, so that's nice. Uh, I think I'll work mostly in a side-to-side -side action, but there isn't a real clean side-to-side -side setup on this field. Uh, there's pretty much uphill or downhill, period. This is just about the flattest area that we have now. Let's see if we can go back up the hill this way. Yeah, five, six miles an hour. So it's way better than what it was before. So yes, I do think we're going to improve our time enough that we clearly need some additional power in this tractor. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for tomorrow yet in terms of our purchase or upgrade those to me counting is the same category. So we've got the front loader attachment now. We still lack the front loader and the bucket, which we have to get soon. But does that mean we have to get 
one of those tomorrow, or can we postpone a day? Well, the only other two things I'm looking at right now as a alternate to getting those two short-term needs is one, an engine upgrade so that we could actually do the job in a timely fashion or two, a wind rower so that we could still do the job but we could do the job in a more efficient manner. We don't have to make as many passes. I'm assuming that the engine upgrade is actually going to be a lot less money than the wind rower, especially with 20k in the bank. That's not a lot of money. And for that, we're getting one of those skinny, skinny little wind rowers that basically would take two rows and cut it to one. Uh, but it would do no more than that. And oh, yeah, we got in there. Nice. Uh, I think I do want to go back this way, though. It's a little flatter neutral, help keep the speed a little more consistent. Sixty one per cent full. This section will get cleaned up, I think, pretty quickly. It's not going to take too many passes to do, so this seems the best way to hit this uphill. And then we'll be able to, before long, kind of straight side to side action and work our way down the hill. It seems like probably the safest route to take.
as much as I'd like to get going on the other fields and at least say cut the grass tonight or something along those lines it is starting to get pretty late it's starting to get dark it's after eight o'clock and while I'm sure our in-game spouse would be quite pleased with the fact that this is the first late night truly a late night we've had a, a late afternoon early evening before but I'm sure they'd appreciate that we've gone this far this long and managed to uh, managed to sorry loss of words there Whew, brain fart anyway uh, I'm sure the theoretical in-game wife would be happy that uh, we haven't had too many late nights but we still don't want her to be too upset it's eight o'clock we're gonna call it a night uh, we're not even gonna go terribly far with things we're just going to park up here in the driveway and then pick things up in the morning. Go back, close the gate. Go eat some grub. And then we'll have another long day tomorrow. So late last night, we received a call from one of our neighbors asking us to come fertilize a pretty large field. It'll take us a while to get the job done, but he is willing to give us $15,000 for completing the job. So that is uh, well worth the money. So we're going to head on over and get this done. So this is field 24. by neighbors I definitely met close by. Uh, we'll be to the house here in just a moment. Field is just right back in here. Nice entry point by the way. Ooh, there's our entry. Oh, sorry. Trying to be like an American. Always getting in on that same side. Oh boy, are you sure you want me doing this field? <laughs> Looks like we could have some crop destruction on our hands. This is the field you want, so... Okay, it's still early enough, growth phase-wise. It, it's not the easiest to see right now, but we can remedy that a bit. Back to the it's not our field thing here. Got to remember that we want to minimize the overlap, stretch our dollar because we get 15,000 using our own equipment. We get 15,000, period. So today is absolutely that day where we could finish paying off this fertilizer spreader.
It also looks like we are in for a bit of rain. That's one reason to start so early this morning. And likewise, of course, we have the objective of mowing two more fields. We got the biggest field done, but we've got two more to do. So we've got this large field to do, and we've got two of our own fields to mow and transport the grass to the BGA. Luckily, the second of those two fields is right there at the BGA, so that'll make that easy enough of a task. But then we're going to have to try to see if we can get it all pressed down before the end of the night so that we can throw a tarp over it and get it fermenting. That being said, I still have to decide what to do for today. And I think the way I will make that decision is when I'm done here, or actually, there's a good chance that this fertilizer might not get me all the way to the end. Uh, so if I do need to go back to the store, then I'll obviously do it then, but because this, this is a large field and I am definitely wasting a little bit right now. Let's bring it in. There we go. If I do head back to the store, when I'm done, head back to the store then, uh, I'll check the, the shop and see what what it would take, how much would we need to spend to get an engine upgrade. Because if it's only two or $3,000 to upgrade the engine, I think that would be well, well worth it. The extra horsepower could have a significant impact on our duties for the rest of today. And we're obviously going to be dealing with grass harvest for a little while yet before we really have the kind of funds to expand our fleet and equipment. So that being said, it makes perfect sense to me to set this job up efficiently, properly, as we are going to do, do a fair bit of it. in the seasons to come before we really have enough money to do much. So I, I think we may end up buying most grass fields before we ever get to... By the way, there's a grass field right here to my left. That That's one of the next possible ones to purchase. And we've almost completed one circuit giving us a header around this field. We're actually really not that far off from being able to start with the sheep. Of course, we need a little bit of capital to get started, but you know, when you can only buy one sheep per day, that's isn't going to require much to get excuse me started. Yeah, uh, the front loader and bucket, and having grass will take care of the feed 
And then all we'll need to worry about, uh, primarily anyway, is the water. So we will need a water trailer. Unless, I'm trying to remember if this map has the feature where you're able to set up your own water deployment system, because that would be ideal if we can. Alright, well we've arrived. We're going to open with taking a look, seeing which upgrade to get, take care of the upgrade, or purchase. So whatever it's going to be for the day, let's find out. Uh, let's start with some quick repairs. Here we go. Customization. Engine setup, 5,000. Which extra horsepower are you getting? 30 horsepower for 5,000. That's the only engine upgrade we've got. That's not fantastic, but 5,000 is not that bad, especially when we're making 15,000 today. And the front loader along with the bucket combined is only 7,000. So if we're about to spend four and five, that's that cuts us down to ten, but we'll be back to twenty-five, meaning we're gonna have more money than we started with. And then seven the next well, seven over the next couple days. So yeah. Yeah, let's let's do it. Uh we want to keep the front loader on. Alright, new engine put in. I love how they were able to do that in an instant. They had it ready. Uh, they are very much like a Formula One Formula One uh, crew doing pit stops. Alright, uh, not done yet though. And after firing it up, she, she works fine. We need to go get our pallets purchase. There's our money spent, hopefully well spent. Lift that up for road transport. Load these guys up. Sixty-two percent. Do I want to get one more? How, f how far are we along? I think we're well over fifty percent, right? Oh yeah, eighty-four. We'll be done soon enough. Let's go ahead and go time lapse though to finish this job. And I'll see you back in a moment. All right, so there we go, job is done. And there's our 15,000. Of course, we spent 4,000 on fertilizer and we have 7% more than what we had when we started with 5%. So realistically, we spent just about <laughs> the 4,000 or at least 3,500. That's still a, a profit of 11,500. So uh, 
it's a good day for us. We spent five on the engine, so we're still six and a half ahead of where we started. Also, it's only 6.30 in the morning, and so we're going to be heading back. And No, that's not a gate I see. Gate fooled me for a second. Or the fence fooled me, looking like a gate. Oh, we got a lot more going on with uh, the space here. A lot of parking in there. Wow. That is very much uh, a space that we could occupy and own as we grow. Well, I'm going to take all this back, swap it out for the grass harvesting equipment and then we're going to find out if the engine upgrade is going to have a significant impact with that extra 30 horsepower on our task short and long term task of multiple grass harvests for the sake of uh, silage but that's going to do it for this episode I'm Decathlon Gamer, thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button and I'll see you next time have a good one, be safe out there and bye for now.